Okay, you saw the title. All I want for Christmas is some hoops, everybody. I will be shaving my hair off at the end of this year. Um, possibly the first week of next year, the last week of this year. Um, I'm not having a Britney Spears moment. I texted my friend earlier and I asked her, I said, because her son is the same age as my oldest. I was like, when your um, son was little, I said, did you used to cut his hair? And she was like, girl, yeah. Now this is all through text. And so I said, okay. I said, do you want to shave my hair? I said, and do it on YouTube. So she never replied back. And I sent her, I was like, laugh out loud. And then I sent her all these little smiley faces. And I was like, don't be scared. And so she still never replied. So I was like, okay, I know I have to go into a little bit more detail with you. I said, my hair is like severe, severely damaged anyway. And I was like, along with my mother is going through with the cancer. I said, I just decided to go ahead and I'm gonna shave it all off. She replied back instantly. She was like, girl, I thought she was having a Britney Spears moment. <laughs> and so, um, she said, yeah. So then I sent her some pictures of all these like really short cuts. Cause I'm just taking it all off. And let me say this, the top of my hair comes to at least right here. And all around the edges are just all different kind of lengths. And I look at my mother, her hair came out twice now with the chemo and it has grown back. I mean, it's, it's, it's slowly growing back right now, but it looks absolutely gorgeous. You know, originally she was trying to find color um, to, to dye her hair. She was looking for vegetable dye and we couldn't find that. And so now, you know, she's satisfied with her hair. And I just want to show my mother that I just think she is absolutely beautiful. And so I am cutting mine completely off. So all I want for Christmas is some hoops, everybody. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think I might put color in it. My friend was like, put some color in it. And so I was like, well, what color will look right with my skin tone? And so um, she's supposed to be sending me a picture like right now, like what color she thinks will look right with my skin tone. So that's where I'm at. Um, what else is new? What else I want to talk to you guys about? Oh my God, did y'all see Sandra Bullock? She adopted a little three and a half year old girl. Um, she started off with foster care or something for I think. And her name is Leela, Layla. From behind, she's on the People magazine for December the 14th. She looks like Blue Ivy, just from the little two puff balls. I mean, I can't see the little girl's face, of course, because the picture, she's holding her in her arms, and little Louie is holding the back of Sandra Bullock, and then she got those two little cute puff balls, like Blue Ivory. So I thought that was cute. I do want to um, get that edition, because I like Sandra Bullock. I really do. And... <sighs> That's about it. I'm on my way to pick up my son. And then I have to pick up my husband. And, um, yeah. All, everything is good right now. As good as it could be. Because I'm still trying to find some things for my mother. Um, what's going on right now is, like, if she stands too long or she's on her feet too long, her legs swell up. And so she hasn't really been going any place, but that's all still a part of her blood not circulating properly because of the um, tumors. And the, um, you become anemic, and, you know, so I'm searching, I'm hopeful. My belief is that, and I tell my mom this, God did not put us on this earth without a cure for everything that we need. And I am a firm believer in that. And I was looking at Min Pam's video. Hey, boo. And she was talking. Um, please check her video out. It's something about depression. And I'm, you know, you see it. I'm not effing depressed. And, you know, how doctors give prescriptions that's not needed and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I was telling my mother, you know, doctors can't make, they can't patent fruits and vegetables. And there is a cure and, you know, I'm going to try to search and look for whatever I possibly can on the internet 
I did learn that. Did you guys notice that rice? I, you know, I thought rice because my husband, we were talking, and he was like, well, rice is brains. He was like, I've always heard that rice is good. And I found this one guy on the uh, YT, and he was like, you know, pull rice out your life. And so I was talking to my girlfriend about it, and she was like, it makes sense because one time rice like clogged up her garbage disposal and literally broke it because rice expands. So one of the things that I learned about rice is that whatever illness that you're going through, you know, tumors or whatever infection or something that your body um, wants to protect, it hides behind the rice because the rice constantly builds a wall. And you think about like when my friend said it expands, it builds a wall to protect her tumors. And my mom has been eating brown rice. So I am going to, oh, I'm covering up the camera. Y'all know I can't edit from a cell phone, at least I don't know how. But, um, so I'm about to pull that out of her life and I gotta explain that to her today. She's compliant with me with anything food-wise that I find out, so I'm very thankful about that. Um, where she'll be hesitant is like the supplements and maybe these liquid herbs that I've been finding. I, you know, I'm putting that on the back burner for um, the one herb that I showed you guys that I got from Whole Foods. I'm putting that on the back burner that that's gonna be, you know, secret weapon when we gotta go into action um, for war. And that's against these tumors. Till next time you guys, stay blessed and stay safe. I just wanted to come through today and give a real quick little video that your girl has decided to shave her hair off. And um, I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna do a video on it, or if not, I don't know. And, and if you know what kind of color that would kind of look right on my skin tone, let's see if I even go to color right, I'm not for sure about that. Leave it in the comment sections below. And until next time, stay blessed, and I love you guys.